Welcome to the We're Not Doctors or Nutritionists. We're paperless freaks that buy bread oh, from free hall. No, <laughs> not bread. Not just one bag, three bags of regular bread. Three bags that she holds up to. Hello? Oh! One, two, three. Sneaky. Can we count, Sassy? <laughs> that we love every single day that help us lean out and look like this and this Whoa. and this and this. <laughs> you mean I can look like that if I eat what you eat? Well, I eat this every day and I look like this. <gasps> All right, let's go. <laughs> Where do, what do I do with my bread? <laughs> just throw it up there somewhere. Let's put it here. All right, so we're gonna start with the chemicals, the diet pop. We were low on pop, so we found some, uh, I was gonna call it Sprite, is it still Sprite Zero? No, why did it, Zero Sugar Sprite. Sprite Max. It's Diet, it's diet Sprite, and Diet Coke. So and, slowly Diet Pop is making its way back into Canada. Yeah, we, it's been like at least a month since we found the, the Sprite Zero, so that's exciting that that's back. And I found a new cereal, a new low calorie cereal to yeah. put on our low calorie ice cream that we make every day. Lucky Charms Honey Clovers. There's only one gram of fat for three quarters of a cup. That is beautiful. And um, I'll tell you a sneak peek. Uh, I bought two boxes and we had some of the other one for our ice cream already. Yeah, if you guys get this cereal, try it. It's great. It's very good, yeah. And if you thought I had enough energy, well, I didn't. I needed some coffee. So <laughs> Starbucks is actually really good. It's one of my favorites. So they were on sale, and I got French roast, espresso roast, Sumatra. How do you say that? Sumatra? Yeah. I never had that one before. Have you? I don't think so. And then this one, Lavaza. Lava Lavaza? Gran Aroma, it's a light roast. So we haven't had this one before or that Sumatra one, so I'm excited about that. Some mu muy tranches, some sliced ripe olives. I like putting those in my wrap and Sassy puts that in his salad for lunch. These, we were low on the fiber one bars. We like putting those on our ice cream too. This is the cinnamon bun flavor. If you guys haven't had that, like it actually tastes like a cinnamon bun. It's really good. It tastes like cinnamon bun flavor. Oh, sorry, cinnamon bun. Flavor. That's what it says on the box. Why did they just just say cinnamon? You bun. can't. You can't. Somebody will say it's not a cinnamon bun. It's cinnamon Obviously, bun flavor. It's in a square. Fine sea salt. I don't know why. I just maybe it tastes better. I don't know. I like fine sea salt. So we got two of those. That's a mighty fine deal you got. Mighty there. fine. Is it from the sea? Yeah, I'm cutting that joke out. That was <laughs> awful. Edit right before you send that joke. Whoop, gone. You're gonna leave it in because I'm so funny. <laughs> so looks this... aren't everything. <laughs> Whenever I see a new gum at the store, I get it because I I like eating gum like in between meals if I'm a little bit hungry because I'm leaning out and I'm in a calorie deficit right now. The gum just makes me feel a little less hungry when I'm chewing it in between meals. So it actually is true. We like the diet pop, the gum, they all help when we're, we're in a leaning out phase. It's just something to look forward to that kind of fills your belly up a little bit while you're waiting for the next meal. And so this one is the soft chew peppermint. Yeah, when you're in lockdown for a year and you, you live with someone that's, you know, kind of a handful, <laughs> you need distractions like diet pop, gum, alcohol. <laughs> Oh. Well, Hank's not here anymore and it's me and you left, so I'll let you do the math on that. Whoa. <laughs> Getting some 11 line action. What did Frumpy Fit call them? 11 lines? She called line? them 11 lines, but what does that mean? Like this? Well, th see <laughs> these, these, I think these side, once you get a little leaner, these side things, you'll, get, thought, you'll get lines. I thought they were here. I don't know. This is just a flat stomach. <laughs> And speaking of filling up your belly, we got lots of romaine lettuce, 
to put on our my wraps and then Kyle's salad. We got some hot and spicy pizza squeeze, not pizza sauce, pizza squeeze. We like having spicy stuff because also when you're dieting, spicy spices it up and makes you feel like you're just eating a lot of flavorful good. Yep, you want to keep the flavor high when the calories are low. Yeah, yeah, he's right. And this is our current favorite dressing for our lunch salad and wrap. It's the Calorie Wise Greek Feta and Oregano. I only use like a couple teaspoons, so does Kyla, and a little goes a long way. And it's quite like strong, good flavor. Then we got tomatoes and Mushrooms, we like buying the ones that are already sliced and clean because it's so much faster to prep. And some peppers, we like getting the variety pack because again, lots of variety when you're leaning out, it really helps. Got free cucumbers. Oh yeah, to go along with actually more diet tips if you're trying to lower your calories, because people always ask us, what do you do? I'm starving, I lowered my calories by like 200, 400, 500. Mm -hmm. Caffeine, the coffee that we showed, also yeah. is uh, our best friend. Oh yeah, the, all those little things that you see, including like the low, lower calorie dressings, things like fat-free cheese slices, they add flavor without a ton of calories and fat and they make you feel like you're eating like kind of like a rich comfort food meal. So we have two of those. And like for me, when I'm, when I'm eating like either maintenance or in a surplus if I'm trying to build muscle, I don't need the pre-workout every day. But during this phase, I need the coffee, I need the pre-workout, but I also mm -hmm. like it. Yeah, me too. Like it, it tastes good. So sometimes just take it because it tastes good. But yeah, when we're leaning out, we do need a little bit more of those things and also a lot of the things you see, like I'll show you some fruit and, and then the lettuce and veggies that you see, that's low calorie stuff that's gonna fill your belly. So you can eat a lot of it and feel full while you're eating less calories. And when we're not just, you wanna have like mini goals, like an end game to your diet so that it's not like really mentally tough. Yeah. You don't wanna have like a never ending diet phase where you're always leaning, leaning, leaning out and cutting. So ours, we're gonna go till about like late April till my birthday and then probably have some cake and donuts and stuff. Yeah, then we're gonna have like kind of like a little party for Sass and he'll pick out his favorite foods and we'll have like a, I guess like a cheat day and then we'll reset and lean out some more. So that's what we do. That's a good thing to bring in my sassy bear. My cute. My yeah, cute. and I'm gonna be the big 4-0, <laughs> even though I don't really count years. 18 forever, but gonna be 40. He's old, guys. Really old. Like I put up with an old oaf. <laughs> an old egg. An old. Is oaf. an oaf an egg? I think that's an oaf in French. An, okay, I'd rather oaf. be an oaf than an oaf. <laughs> And you can also be an oof with this thing. Look at, why has he got a rake? <laughs> I think it's a fork, but why? <laughs> Is it a rake or a fork? I think it's a shovel. <laughs> I think it's an egg with a hat. <laughs> he's, he's farming his own friends to sell them to Walmart. Why is there a bee on his hat? Is that for Billy? Yes. Or baloney? <laughs> okay, we got three cartons of egg whites. We have four of these 1% cottage cheese. We love eating this at night because it's slow digesting protein and it kind of keeps you full and your muscles growing at night when you're nani. Yeah, that means sleeping. it's a natural source of casein protein. Some people take the powder form. We like to eat cottage cheese with peanut butter and cocoa powder. Yeah, because we, we prefer eating over drinking our calories like because we like food a lot. Four of these uh, zero fat, Greek yogurts, the plain. We like to flavor our own because it cuts down on the extra carbs and sugar that can go into the flavored kind. Sliced peaches. I just recently discovered that these are low, pretty low calorie. Oh my gosh, these are life changing. We make them into protein ice cream, put them on French toast. These are, oh my gosh, they're just lifesavers on a diet, really. Um, pineapple tidbits. We buy these and put them just a tablespoon on our low calorie pizza every night for dinner. What a difference does it make to add a little bit of sweet and a little bit of spicy with these, um, I don't know, they're called pickled hot peppers. We call them banana peppers. It just really changes things when you're dieting and it really makes us look forward to our pizza even more. And like before when we weren't dieting, it's like, I don't know, your taste buds change because like when we eat the fresh veggies on the pizza, 
the onion, the pineapple, the hot peppers, they oh just gosh. pop and the yeah. flavor is like you've never eaten food before and it tastes so good. But mm -hmm. When you're overeating, it's like that you don't even is. care about that stuff. I think because you give your, you can just have whatever you want when you're overeating, it's like you don't really appreciate it. Like I remember when I was overweight, I didn't really appreciate food because I just was eating all the time. Now when I'm in a calorie deficit and I'm leaning out, I hungry and I look forward to my food and the first bite is like glorious like it's the best bite yeah and so we got some these are our favorite protein bars the pure protein we're not sponsored by any of these things that we're showing you and until it's, we are sponsored these are our favorite but once we're sponsored if it's a different company we'll just this, get rid these of these will just go <laughs> But we like these because they're fairly low in calories and fat, so we like to stick around 190 or less calories per protein bar. And these are really good bridges to get to the next meal. Like when we're working, we have one of these to kind of get us to our next meal. And we will stay and do anything for money, just just putting that out there to any potential sponsors. <laughs> Built bar. <laughs> um, so. Red velvet and maple caramel. We have a ton of flavors, but we were low on these. If you have a chance to get maple caramel, like I don't know if you get that flavor in the States, but it it is a must. It's a recommend, like try that out. It's really good. And then currently we are only eating processed meat. So <laughs> do with that what you will, but it's quick, it's lean, it's tasty, and that's all we care about. I can hear the sirens of the food police. As soon as he said that, they're like the bat signal the went comments. up to the, the food police bat signal went up and they're just flooding the comments. Yeah, the comment section is like uh, is just just going <laughs> <laughs> it's malfunctioning. So this is literally it plus, you know, the protein in the yogurt, the cottage cheese, the eggs. Judge me, it's fine. So we have the turkey and these are really low calorie, 30 calories for two slices, I'm in. And I we like to mix it with the chicken. So this is the oven roasted lean chicken slices and we do like a couple turkey and a couple chicken slices for our lunches. And then on our pizza, we like to put this um, Black Forest ham and it's the, I thought it said extra lean on it, but it's the very low calorie. It's one fat for three slices and 50 calories. And strawberries. We got two bags of those. We use that for everything. Ice cream in our French toast and our yogurt. And then we were getting low. Our favorite kernel seasoning is like the Canadian cheddar. I think in the States it's like nacho cheese or something. Uh, and we like to mix it with the ketchup. Kyle came up with that and it is genius. And we put it on. Finally, you admit that I'm a genius. Only in that area because oh. you're old and oof and other ones. <laughs> <laughs> So then we have two boxes of the Smart Pop. We have a bag of this every single night and we top it with a bit of kernels. It's I have the bag and the popcorn every night. And and uh, the plastic too, don't forget. No, <laughs> I don't eat the plastic. I stopped doing that weeks ago. Oh man, I gotta catch up. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's great. That fills up your belly full of fiber, low calorie. And these are amazing. You can eat these just as a snack alone, but I love topping them, um, our ice cream with it. We crush them up and put them on top of our low calorie ice cream. Oh my gosh, they're so good. We get two flavors here. We get the chocolate chip and then the chocolate. These kind of taste like the Oreo thins, but without the cream. And these are pretty good for thin chocolate chip. Delicious. The whole pack is 100 calories, which is amazing. We got a red onion to go on our pizza and baby spinach goes in our salad, wraps, and on our pizza. Anything to add volume, eat more for less cows. That's what we do here and we eat bread and we do this and we drink coffee and we love our food and we lose weight. Whoa. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want to know, Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for six years, eating that food, loving life, Loving it, lawn mowing it. If you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, check out those weight loss guides. The links are down there. 
And guess what? Only half of you watching are subscribed. Don't forget to subscribe, to hit the like, to share it, to get the bells for notifications. You know why? Because someone in the comments said, I need to save for a nose job. So make me some money so I can get a nose job and watch these videos and do this and do this and this. Dusty, 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 dusty. dusty. Walking like a tough guy. Love ya, collect out, peace. <laughs> As you can tell, we've already taken our pre-workout. And it's time for leg day. Bye. Have a nap down there, will you? <laughs> this is what I deal with every single day, all day. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not a handful. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. Oh!